Yes, shots fired. Well, she may have won two Emmys for her hit reality show, My Life on the D-List, but this comedian has proven to be nothing but A-list. Her latest stand-up tour, My Life on the PTSD List, kicks off February 2nd. Please welcome the always hilarious Kathy Griffin, everybody. I'm oh. so excited you showed my TikTok. I am working <laughs> so hard on TikTok. I think I'm the oldest person on TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you for showing that sort of shots fired with the awards, which I have. You should have brought them today, by the I way. No, we could have. Yeah, I should have. I used to bring my Emmys to every meeting I had. So much that one time the ball just fell off. <laughs> yeah, I had to prove, I have to prove myself. You got to prove yourself. Every day. And by the way, your tour is kicking off. I'm coming. Mm. You better bring those Emmys there. Yeah. But what I love is that you've gone through some things in your life. Yeah. You've battled lung cancer, but you still find the comedy in it. How has that helped you get through life? Well, you have to laugh. You know, so I'm somebody that was, you know, from a family of... You know, the lovingly um, dysfunctional family. But they taught me how to laugh. And my dad was like comedian level funny, even though that wasn't his job. And my mom doesn't even know why she was funny. She just, <laughs> you know, was. And so I kind of was raised on that, but also being up on current event stuff. So at the dinner table, you kind of had to bring your A politics game mm. and know what's going on. And you were kind of expected to have read the paper and stuff like that. But as far as humor getting me through like the cancer, that's, I'll tell you what's been challenging is it changed the pitch of my voice a little bit and I'm like kind of self-conscious about it. So, oh, and you shouldn't be, by yeah, the way. No, not. you should okay. not be. No, no, all right, no. thank you. Because um, can you guys come on the road with me at all four of us? Totally. <laughs> Hair and makeup. Good. Hair because and makeup. You definitely want to be in Omaha, Nebraska in February. Because <laughs> I thought this out. But no, you got to laugh at everything. And I, I feel like when it comes to laughter, at least about myself, everything's on the table. Ugh. Everything's, I got to make fun of myself first. 100%. I 100% agree with you. That's my motto in life, too. So earlier in the show, we mentioned that it's been 17 years since the infamous photo of Lindsay, Brittany, and uh, Paris, Paris yes. in the car. And you talked a lot about that in your stand-up. It was a cover of Time Magazine. Yes. It was so a big deal. Are you, can you believe they're moms now? I can't, not only can I not believe they're moms, because of course it ages me, but <laughs> I'm actually going to Paris Hilton's Christmas party. Uh, Okay, full circle moment. I'm about to say, hold wow. on. How are hold you getting on. past security? Exactly. <laughs> Somehow over the years, Paris has decided to forgive me. And Lindsay has always actually, Lindsay, I will say, took a joke from minute one. And I love that. And I mean, I haven't seen Brittany. Oh, I got to be, well, back in the day in her Vegas residency, oh. um, I got to be, um, uh, somebody comes from the audience and she whips them around yes, and yes. I rolled on all fours. Yes. So that was really fun. And it's amazing because the tenor of comedy has changed. Like, I don't do the same exact style of stand-up I did because the 90s and the aughts, it was a brutal time oh, for comedy. I mean, the, the mandate was like, take these people down. down and it's really not like that anymore so like i have a surprise for you in the new show i actually don't mention trump once oh wow it's not like i'm afraid it's just like he kind of just doesn't come up and i want to talk about ptsd and the ridiculousness of cancer and how many doctors call me kathy lee gifford three <laughs> three by the way you should just put it on her on her charge account yes you because see? I have stolen her identity for long enough. <laughs> and oh, you just have to laugh at that stuff, too. Because whenever I'm in the lobby and they go, uh, Kathy Lee Griffith, like two people will turn to me and be like, still on the D list. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know. So you got to laugh at everything. Why not? By the way, I just spit a little. So I'm now that person. No, it's fine. No, no, don't invite me anywhere. I cannot. <laughs> I'm not, I just, okay, I apologize. <laughs> well, you I know apologize. what? I like that you're spitting because you're getting chatty because I want to get I chatty know. with you. Okay. You always have the best takes in Hollywood. So we like to play a little game. Good. You know, get your thoughts on some pop culture mm -hmm. topics. And okay. we're calling this a round of Chatty Kathy. Let's go. All right. First up, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. What is your take on their romance? I feel very positive about our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us, because I'm way too invested. Yeah. And also, I just want to say, as a female stand-up comic, right, I'm on the road, I'm touring, I love it, and her being a musician, what I think is really great is the way he shows up for her has never been done. 
So when I think about the greats, the shares and the Stevie Nicks's, you never heard of like a football player going to their concert are, and cheer, right? You are Those correct. ladies didn't have that grace. And I think that's one of the reasons so many women are actually pulling for this relationship. I love it. Well, another relationship we want to talk about is Kim Kardashian's mm -hmm. push a bra yeah. with, with nipples. the nipples. <laughs> it's sold out online. Yeah. Did you get one? Well, I bought every one. So I'm the reason. Also, I'm going to get extender nipples because I'd like them to come out about yay far and knock over like things on top of the dining table. Just knock over my coffee in the morning. Sorry. And you should have them lactate too. Yeah. Right? And then I should sue her and own the company. I have a dream. You have a dream. All right. Dolly Parton shocking America when she wore this Dallas Cowboy cheerleader uniform at halftime. What did you think? Not enough. Not enough. Next time I want a thong and pasties, and I want them to twirl like this. <laughs> no, she is a national treasure for a reason. She does have an amazing figure, but it's the fact that she did it and had so much fun doing it, and once again, always laughs at herself. I thought it was an amazing moment, frankly, even for sports. But yeah. for entertainment, I thought it was a great moment. And she's going to keep doing cool stuff because she can't help it. I love that. Well, I want to talk more about my life on the PTSD list. Yes. It's a great and name, by the way. It's so <laughs> great. Um, you don't hold back when yeah. you're talking about other celebrities in your stand-up. Right. Who should be scared? I would say <laughs> maybe um, Kanye might be a little nervous to show, because I'm watching his travels. I yes. was, saw the video of him, I think it was on TikTok, where he's like playing music really loud in a tent in the middle of the desert okay. and his like guys from like seven miles down the road in the desert are like it's too loud <laughs> and so um he kind of is somebody that pops up in the news that i watch for and i usually watch for anyone who's displayed any kind of bad behavior because mm. i really don't make fun of like I don't want to make fun of the core of somebody, but like it's the way they behave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I, I don't make fun of Oprah herself; she's great. But I always love hearing John Travolta. <laughs> like, it's, nobody else does it like that. So I, I'm looking for the celebs that do something nobody else is doing, and often the ones that you can kind of tell put themselves in the news. Yeah, that's where I come in. That's where you come in. Yeah. You guys, well, I'm going to come in. I'm going to save that chair because the icon sat there. Thank oh, you. you so much for being here tonight. I'm going to come check out your tour. You and you guys, for dates and ticket information on Kathy's upcoming North American tour, my life on the PTSD list, check out her website.